Hi everyone, welcome back to Harish BI. In this video, I'm going to show you a report settings that you have on your Power BI reports. Let's get started. This is the report that I have developed in my Power BI desktop. To see what are the options that we have on the report settings, you need to go to File, Options, Options, and you will see the report settings which is under uh, Global, and you also will have the report settings under Current File. Right, so this report setting is it's applicable for uh, any file that you open on your Power BI desktop and this report setting is just applicable for this particular report. Let's see if you are trying to do some changes here. Right, so those changes will be automatically applied to this report, this Power BI file. Right, if you do any changes right uh, here, if you want to retain those changes across all the reports that you open on your Power BI uh, desktop, that will be applied. Right, so this is where like uh, you need to see all these options let's say you want to enable the personalized visual for your reports report visuals to allow users to modify the visuals you have to enable this option right in case if you want to allow modern visual tooltips uh, you need to uh, add it here right or if you don't want to show that model tooltips you need to disable it here right so and in case if you want to allow cross report tool through then you need to enable it here so these are the different options that you have uh, maybe we can go through one by one but uh, this is a place where you have to configure all of these settings right so once you have configured uh, you need to click uh, close and uh, you need to publish it right so once you published all the changes that you made on the report settings will be applied to this report right let's say you have published this report into this workspace and uh, you can see this is a report and let's say you forgot to apply one of the changes on report settings right maybe personalized visual right so which means you no need to go to the report uh, and go to the file and option settings right so what you can do you can go to this three dot itself so whatever settings that you saw on your power bi desktop you will see everything here so it's a place where you can do all the settings so uh, even within the power bi service so if you see here personalized visual i can enable it and i can save it Right, so which means so now I'm all allowing users to personalize their visuals. Okay, let's start with the endorsement. Endorsement uh, something what we have in uh, Power BI data set as well, right? It's a similar concept. So you can go through these settings like uh, it has clearly explained what is this endorsement. So you can endorse your report either uh, none or promoted or a feature on home or even a certified, right? How you usually endorse your data sets. It's a similar concept. Okay, the next one is persistent filters. So persistent filter is something, let's say you are uh, doing some selections on your slicers. So whatever selections that you made on the report, that will be automatically saved. So whenever you open the report second time, uh, those selections will remain same. You, in case if you want to use the same selection or you can still have an option to reset your selections. Right, let me show you the report. So this is the report. If you see, uh, I have uh, uh, different slicers. So I'm just selecting one of the value here, DLX, and I'm selecting a different value here, gray. So after selected uh, this value, you can see this option is enabled. It says uh, reset filter slices and etc. Right. So whatever selections that I made, it's all uh, it's already saved. So if I go back and uh, tomorrow I'm opening the same report, if I if I open the same report, you will see this option. If I go back to the page. You will see like whatever I have selected previously, right? Uh, that will be remain available, right? So if you don't want to see these options, let's say uh, I I always need to uh, see whatever was saved earlier or the initial one, right? So you can click this option; it will reset all your uh, filters. Or if you don't want to do that, it you may think like uh, maybe user may forgot to do this uh, reset option, right? So on those cases, you can uh, disable this option. So whenever user opens the report, right, so they will not see an option to reset the filter. So they always going to see whatever was saved uh, uh, before we publish the report. So now I'm going back to the report. Let me refresh this. So I've done the ch save changes. So now I'm again here. I'm selecting this. So if you see now, there is no uh, reset option. Right now I have selected, uh, let's say, gray and uh, economy. I'm going back. I'm opening the report again. If I go to the same page, you will you see it is reset to the previous the initial selection. So that is how you can use this uh, that persistent filter option. I'll go back to the settings. Okay, next one is pages pane. Like let's say you may have multiple pages uh, created on your report. 
we want to expose all the pages so you can use this page pane right so that will open a page pane window where uh, user can easily navigate but in case if you are trying to add all the navigation on your report uh, you no need to enable this uh, page pane option and uh, this is uh, the one of the interesting option let's say hide visual uh, header in the reading view so if i go to the report when i mouse over on any visual right you will see these icons these are called header icons right so this will be available for all the reports so with this there are multiple options either they can pin it or uh, they can do a sort or they can do this kind of uh, export options right in case if you don't want to show any of this icon you can easily disable this and click save and i'll just refresh this so they can simply view the report or there will not be header icon uh, uh, visible when they mouse over on the report visuals right so you can see there is no header icons so sometimes that will be useful but uh, most of the time it would it will be uh, good to have uh, the header icons enabled right, let me enable this so again this is something like a modern visual header icon so whatever you you are seeing uh, right uh, here let me save and show you so whatever you see here these are modern uh, report uh, header icons go to settings and you have uh, so this is something like a uh, uh, interactivity so you may say like uh, when i select one of the visual right so that should uh, either filter it or cross filter it or cross highlight it so that option you have here uh, in report setting itself and export option like uh, you have option to uh, allow users to export the data so there you can define like uh, whether uh, they want to export the summarized data with uh, this option or all the three options or none of the options so that you can control here and sensitivity label uh, that you can set it for your report so whatever sensitivity label that you have access you can assign the same labels to your data sets and reports and uh, the next interesting feature is uh, filtering experience so if if i go to the report here you can see this is the filter pane so now if you see enable search for the filter is enabled so which means if i go to the filter pane i will see an option called search here so this global search is uh, enabled because we have enabled these settings if i disable click save you will not see that uh, search option on the filter pane here you can see there is no search bar right of you see allow users to change filter types if you see this option allow users to change the filter types so now this is uh, turned off which means user cannot change the type so when i say type so in general if you see uh, the filter pan uh, here let me choose one of them here you can see either a basic filter or advanced or a top end right so this is a filter type so you have option to control these uh, filter types on your report settings so if i go back here so now i don't see uh, the basic filter advanced filter or top end i can enable this click uh, save and then refresh this report i can expand this now you can see top and advanced basing so these are the uh, filter type so if you want to allow users to uh, see all of this you can enable that let's go back to the next settings okay pages visual options uh, sensitivity labels filters cross report all through in case of your Uh, allowing uh, drill through from one report to another report you have to enable these settings uh, on your report and comments is something uh, you can allow users to comment uh, 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 comment on your report so this is a comment right so this is a section if you want to disable it you can disable it and personalize visual is something you are going to allow users to personalize so this icon will be displayed and when you enable this personalized visual icon uh, this will this personalized option will be enabled for across all the visuals and uh, modern visual tool tips so in case if you have uh, uh, any drill to uh, uh, drill through or drill down is available so when they mouse over uh, uh, they will see a modern uh, uh, tool tip you can see the drill to is num uh, now coming up otherwise they have to right click and uh, uh, identify the drill through and they need to go to the drill through page 
and then inside screen uh, so inside screen will uh, uh, help users to get some insights from their data right so it will read the data whatever we have on the visuals and it will give some insight about uh, their data so that you can uh, enable or disable okay let's see this uh, default summarization so this will be really useful for uh, uh, users to understand uh, what kind of aggregations are added for those measure columns right so let's say i'm going to default uh, city tasks off let me save this and i'm just refreshing this uh, report i'll go to edit so if you see here i have a table it says budget so if you see here uh, this budget column has uh, default summarization so default summarization i set it as uh, sum but when user see here it is budget right uh, let me go here and i'm going to enable this uh, default summarization click save i'm going to refresh this page you'll see now the name got changed instead of budget it is now sum of budget Right, so if you want to have these uh, naming conventions automatically changed based on the default aggregations, so then you can enable or disable these uh, settings. Okay, yeah. So this is what I want to cover uh, today. So in case if you want to change any of the report settings, you can directly do on the service. So let's say you have uh, defined all the settings on your uh, Power BI desktop file and you have published it whatever settings that you have saved right so that will be available under uh, report settings on the service in case if you want to override those uh, settings you can go here on the report settings and you can uh, do whatever changes uh, you want to apply whatever changes that you do only that uh, uh, settings will be applied to your report i hope you like this video uh, please let me know how many of you are using these report settings uh, to enable disable these report features please do share and comment Thanks for watching my video.